When Blackmagic Design recently released uh, the beta for 16.1 of Resolve, one of the newest features was the ability to use adjustment clips and then save them as uh, in bins or power bins, so you could use them you know, later in your own project or later in a uh, different projects. And that was a really nice feature because they're very handy, but you might have noticed that if you try doing that and dragging an adjustment clip over, making some changes and then try to use and then save that to a power bin and then try to reuse it either on the same timeline or later in a different project, the animation, the keyframes won't line up to where you're placing it the, the uh, copy is basically uh, set to the original spot it is and you really can't use it anyplace else. But I did find a workaround for that. Now I can show you here, especially if you use Fusion, which I'll do right here if I put the playhead over the adjustment clip and go into Fusion. So I want to add some Fusion nodes and everything. If you look at the timeline up here, you'll see that the range for the t uh, keyframes or for the uh, frames of the video start at 108,000 and go up from there. This is a six second clip. So it goes from 108,000 to 108,179, which of course won't fit on most people's timelines. But I did find a workaround to get around that. So I'll just delete this. Now the trick, main trick is to drag the adjustment clip over to your timeline. Before you do anything with it, drag that to your bin. So I'm going to drag it up here. Then I'm going to delete the existing one. So Control X, delete that. Now I could drag this one back onto the timeline. Now if I uh, switch to Fusion tab, you'll see that now the timeline is more normal here. And it's going from uh, zero to frame 179. And this will actually be able to be used any place in this timeline and then if you save it to a power bin you'll be able to utilize it later. And it also goes with uh, anything you'll do over here from the inspector. If you did it the original way, just driving it here, doing all your changes and taking it to a tower, uh, power bin, then the changes wouldn't stick if you try to use it any place else in the, on a timeline. But by using this method, dragging it from here to your timeline, dragging it immediately to a bin, deleting the one that's on the timeline, and then dragging it back. You can then make the adjustments either here or on the Fusion tab and they'll be able to be used any place and I'll demonstrate that here. So set so at the beginning there I'll go to Fusion. I'll do really quick just to show it I'll do a transform. A transform node and I'll do a zoom in. Or I'll actually I'll do a uh, I'll change the angle so I'll keyframe the angle. So we'll start here at zero and we'll move towards the end and I'll just set up 360. So if I go back here, you can see that it adjusts it and spins at 360 degrees. So now I can go back into the Edit tab and play it through. Okay, now if I want to save this, I can come up here and give it a name. So I call that, say, 360 preset. And I can drag that to the bin here. And I can either key, I could delete this and then bring in this 360 preset any place on this timeline. And when I play it through, it'll do the spin. And also I could go on over here to the fusion tab. And you can see observe the 0 to 179 frames. And then I can also take this to my power bin. I can create a new bin here, add bin, call this say presets. And then I could drag this into that folder. And then I'll show you if I will start up a new project and then I'll add it and show that you could be used in separate projects. So I'll be back in a second. Okay, here I have a new project started with different footage. So I'll go up to my bins, go to my presets drag the 360 preset onto my timeline and when I play through you'll see that the fusion composition works and then I can also go to the fusion tab and you can still see that it still preserves the 0 to 179 uh, frames and that could be used in any project 
So that's basically the workaround I've found for uh, how to use and save adjustment clips and use them in power bins for later projects. Uh, hopefully you found this useful. And I thank you for watching.